at the end of the year, I've written about uh, a sort of a strange queasy feeling that one has uh, as 2017 uh, dawns. And that's very different from the, the feeling that one had uh, at the beginning of 2016. Uh, then there was a sense of optimism, the fact that uh, enterprise was being given uh, a large space to play in, uh, private sector was dominating, uh, there was a sense of growth, there was a sense that tax laws were being reformed. But one year out, a lot of that sense has diminished considerably, if not evaporated altogether. Uh, clearly, the biggest uh, queasy feeling of 2017 is uh, this failed experiment of demonetization. Uh, and in my book, it's failed because uh, a large number of people in the informal economy uh, have been put to the kind of stress, have been put to the kind of tragic outcomes that were completely unnecessary. Uh, what is also a collateral of this move is the kind of big deep state that we are now seeing. This whole uh, uh, regular threats, this whole uh, vengeful attitude of the tax authorities, the enforcement directorate. This sort of brings to mind what was happening in this country in the 70s and 80s. Uh, when literally uh, there was, these people had an uh, unlimited license to come in, barge in uh, and harass anybody. That kind of a thing uh, seems to be returning. I'm also a bit concerned by the sort of tax and spend uh, predilection uh, of the current government. Uh, you see all kinds of cesses uh, being imposed. You see all kinds of uh, extra charges being put on people. And then the government very proudly saying that for the first time in several years, public investment has gone ahead of private investment. In my book, that's something that you shouldn't be proud of. That's something which is entirely regressive because that's India of the 70s and 80s where public sector dominated and private enterprise was, was, was artificially suppressed. That had all changed in the last 20 years, but it seems to be coming back. So the, these are the kinds of things that uh, have left me feeling queasy uh, at the beginning of 2017 and I share a lot of those things uh, in the column that I've written. I also feel that uh, Prime Minister Modi, who came in with such a, a large amount of promise and optimism, has now started talking like a revolutionary. You can almost see uh, a Castro-like uh, um, uh, language that he employs uh, about, a, about a class war, about uh, the rich and the poor uh, being antithetical to each other, of a language of expropriation, go out and take uh, this resource which doesn't belong to the rich. So this prospect of a class war is, is I think something which is very troubling as well. Uh, all of this is there in the, uh, uh, in the, in the column. Uh, of course I end by saying I hope I'm wrong. <laughs>